Nick Teneris, producer of uh, Patty and Me and the star of Patty and Me. So, this was made in a total of two and a half days. Uh, one scene was shot actually in my apartment in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Another scene was uh, the rest of it in the house. The interview scenes were in my apartment actually, and the, the house scenes were at a friend's house in Hollis Hills, Queens. And um, uh, the music, the soundtrack is Moby Gratis. And uh, the concept was actually based on uh, the director and writer's uh, trip to Ireland as a Japanese exchange student. Uh, Ricky Tuno, who's the director and writer of this, is Japanese, and he stayed with a family where the dad was actually called Patty and the, and the mom was Maureen. And it's really, it's a story not only about zombies, but it's a... Uh, it has, cultural under, it has a cultural understory and it's really about families and about love. And love for a dad, really. So maybe it's more apt for uh, Father's Day rather than uh, <laughs> Halloween weekend. <laughs> and I'm a recent dad myself, I'm an actor and I produce this. And you know, I'm happy to have it shown here. Thank you Greg Lamberson, thank you Buffalo and Buffalo Screams. Yes, Kurt. So the acting was uniformly fantastic. Yes, did you did. write them for the parts for friends and actors you knew, or did you go through a casting process? We had a casting process. I was actively involved in the casting process, and we had a backstories to each of the characters. Patty was actually supposed to... The backstory for Patty was um, someone who had a, a background f from Ireland but that's not me, I'm a chef from Greek background, but that likes to eat, that's happily married, and uh, has an unfortunate heart attack, and is missed by his family, and a week later comes back. Uh, we, we cast it, and we got pretty much the right person for C Cynthia Shaw. It was the uh, actress that played Maureen, and I had actually known her from uh, acting classes. Uh, we took um, classes at Terry Schreiber Studios in New York. Uh, the Jason Douglas Cohen, who uh, played Peter, uh, was actually, uh, he answered our backstage ad. And I think he was the best for the part. He fit the age. And he's also a very talented uh, stage actor. And this is his first appearance in this type of medium. And by the way, this is a mockumentary. <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> and we also had a very talented DP, Pierre Axel, who you actually saw in the background as, as he was filming the last scene. So it was partly friends and partly uh, casting that we did. And then as producer of a short like this, what were your responsibilities? It was everything from helping to get the financing in getting the equipment, renting the equipment. There was a steady cam used in this. And um, we also, I was also the driver. I also found the locations, was responsible for food, was responsible for uh, travel to the sets because people were coming from different parts of New York City. And uh, helping with, uh, with the concept and with the rewrites of the script. Proofreading it, helping with the, e with the editing of the script the casting, uh, pretty much everything except actually shooting it, which we should really should be the role of a producer, I think. It's not just financing a film. <laughs> uh, any other questions? Uh, I just want to say uh, congratulations because uh, you guys have accomplished uh, something that might look impossible to make an original zombie flick. So that's really Thank you. And I think this, this idea could, could be great idea for a future because uh, documentaries are basically like one one gap or one good joke or one good idea that you can expand like even for longer so maybe I don't know if you have any plans to expand this into something well yeah Isaac I've actually I've, I've brought up the idea of expanding it into a TV show which is a challenge <laughs> so that's just in the conceptual stage right now and possibly reality show format or a larger mockumentary format 
but the issue is the script. This literally was finished just uh, this past summer, just about two months ago. Put right on big screen. Yes, <laughs> I loved it. Thank you. I'm just uh, curious. So, is this your first film that you produced, or? I've, this is the first uh, film that I've produced that's made it to a festival. Okay. And this is actually the world premiere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is this your uh, first foray into uh, horror or, or not? This is my first foray into horror and actually into, into film. At horror, I'm a horror fan okay. and that's the genre that I'm into right now. And um, I actually am a recent graduate of the New York Film Academy, the producing program. So I'm just starting in filmmaking. So this is my first uh, real like uh, project that's made it out there. And just so everyone knows, I know some people in the audience aren't coming to the awards dinner tonight, but uh, Nick is nominated for uh, best actor in a short or medium length film for his work on this film. So pretty good for our first. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, the, the face on the balloon. <laughs> was that like you know? The, was that one of the, like the first ideas? Okay, we're gonna have like the fake body, but uh, yeah, we need the fake head. What are we gonna do? We actually, I, I, we went shopping at Toys R Us for different kinds of props, and the tether ball was was on sale at Toys R Us, and that's that's why we put a tether ball in there. We were gonna use a ball. We're going to use other kind of, a slip and slide was bounced around. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the balloons were on sale. And we were thinking of actually recreating his head, but we figured a balloon and a photocopy would work best. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyone else? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.